Hello everybody, welcome to the hopefully sixth episode of the Community Service Podcast, recorded yes, March There's the only 20- been five of these before? Yes, there's only been five. Recorded six March the 24th, six. year of our Lord, 2017. With us today are Austin. Yo. Brady. Hello. Clayton. Hey, hey. And Phoenix. Why the fuck am I last? Because, save best for last, what the fuck, Phoenix? And also, it was going okay, down. Okay, thank, thank you, thank you. Thank I was just reading down. Okay, so you yeah. just wanted yeah. your ego struck, is that it? It's actually yeah, alphabetical absolutely. order, Dude, but, you know. What, we'll... Yeah, absolutely. Isn't, the aren't you smoking? last anyway, Jem? Or did you say your name at the time? I never introduced I don't fucking myself. Remember. I never introduced I, I wasn't. It just me. doesn't happen. You, you haven't realized this, Austin, but every single podcast we've done, I haven't introduced myself, and you've called me out for it. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> well, not every single one, but it, it happens a lot. It's, hey, Jim. it's sad, then, that I don't remember that. Jim. Yes, Phoenix. How come you didn't? How come you didn't introduce yourself? Because Phoenix, don't bother, please. Austin's Who, got you Jim? covered. I don't. I don't understand. <laughs> okay, I don't yeah. know Jim. All right, so uh, new people we have here. Uh, Phoenix and Austin have both been on the podcast. Loyal listeners. Uh, Brady, first time here. Fucking finally made it. I don't know how many times you've tried tagging the finally. podcast. It just this fell apart. But you're finally here, I've, Brady. Uh, I've tried. Brady is the guy that, as an internet commenter once said on one of the videos, it sounds like he nailed his balls to the floor to get that deep a voice. Yeah. We did a, a commentary with him lately and when he was sick, and it was, oh my goodness. I, it I, was didn't, uh, I didn't nail him. Mind shattering. Him. Brady, talk for a second. Talk what? See? <laughs> 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 now, what size nails are they? I've been dying to know. They are nine-inch nails. Oh, Jesus I love that. Christ. That goes, if you're on the second floor, it's poking out the ceiling. <laughs> this guy understands ceilings. I do. You used to work construction, I correct, don't Austin? Think that's, I understand balls, though, so. Oh, right, yeah. of course. So, we, we got both ends of the spectrum. And and the other the other new fellow we have today is Clayton. I'll handle both ends. Don't worry about that. Clayton, <laughs> also known as the Clawsome, uh, hey, hey. ball joke by Phoenix Notwithstanding. Welcome to the podcast, Clayton. Oh, oh, thank you. I was joke. I appreciated no. the invite 15 minutes before it started. Listen, uh, the 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 Australian I had on schedule for tonight bowed out. Uh, fuck you too, Grace. Just oh. saying. But and so we replaced <laughs> them with you. Yeah. All you Australians the, the are interchangeable. Don't worry about. It. We could have Lannan in here. It wouldn't be any difference. You wow. say that. They're most of them are pretty filthy East Coasters. So fucking who needs them, right? <laughs> oh shit. Is that a thing? I don't know what that means. Uh, yeah. Do people on the East Coast hate the West Coast? Is there a fucking... You, There's an entire desert of death well, between up, them. Up. Of course they hate each other. Well, hold on. The, the West I Coast think, uh, fuck wants to talk. I, what do you want, Brady? I hate the West Coast. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah, right. Oh, wow. Then why are you no, always quoting San Francisco slang in, like, uh, the fucking chat or whatever? Like, you're always with that weird-ass Bay Area talk. That's that's my <laughs> first language, man. <laughs> <laughs> But you hate it in the West Coast, really? Do you really hate it well, in fucking cause California? Well, because it's really fucking expensive, dude. Uh, but that's just pretty universal. It's really expensive here yeah. in Perth as well. Yeah, but well, any place true. where it's not expensive, you don't want to live. That's true. Well, that's that's like, true. like the East Coast. Like that's Kansas. Not really hey. <laughs> no way. Listen, man, I, I honestly can't bitch. Um, Jersey... Property values are surprisingly low, and no, it's not a nice place to live a lot of the time. Well, yeah, unless you live in, like, the nice Nobody part wants of to New live Jersey. in Jersey. Yeah, yeah, this is nice Jersey part, people don't want to live in Jersey. Thing is, though, That's my standards true. were so low coming into New Jersey that Jersey felt like a fucking paradise to me, so, you know, I honestly I have, don't like, care. I know, like, three separate people that are living in New Jersey that are like, yeah, we're going to move to Austin. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think I've ever met a dude from Jersey who's like, fuck yeah, Jersey. <laughs> like it's always like I want to get the fuck out. Yeah, of but here like any, now. have you ever met anybody from Jersey who was ashamed of being from Jersey? No, they they, they all fucking yes. love the fact that they're from <sighs> Jersey. It's like they, they they never shut up about it. But the thing is, holy sure, what? Nothing. Holy <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. no. But well, pe- Austin and Phoenix, let me ask you how uh how cheap is it in Austin compared to like where you guys are from? Well, I guess that's not really how, a how much for... is how much is a three bedroom apartment wherever the fuck you live. A three-bedroom apartment? Yeah. Dude, that's like $6,000. A fucking one-bedroom ah. apartment in the shitty ah. part of town over here is like $2,100, dude. A fucking studio apartment in the Bay Area is $2,100. Oh, here, you can find like, like a, You can get that at least half. Three-bedroom yeah, apartment in I'm my paying. city is You can find a studio apartment here in Austin for like 800 bucks a month. What that's the what fuck I'm is saying, that? Dude. That's insane. And that's a nice place to live. You guys are saying anywhere that's like affordable and nobody wants to live there? The but I didn't say prices? that Austin is a good place to live. I, th- I think it's a good place to live. 
It's just hot as balls here. I don't know if it's a good place to live. And I know balls, place as be. I have said before. Phoenix, you got to get off that, man. <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah, I don't want to get off the balls, man. They're comfortable. You guys price your rent by month? What yes. Is, what is that? What else are we going to oh, do? Oh, great. Let's by listen week? to this fucking insanity. Okay, is click. the calendar week. different in Australia? If you want to How rent... do you pay... Okay, how do you pay for a place to live? Uh, if, you're, if you're renting, you pay per week. It's normally about four hundred dollars a week for a oh, what three bedroom. Oh my god! What the That's fuck? That's not in in the city for, for like an apartment in the city. It's probably somewhere between nine hundred and twelve hundred a week. Wait, what? What is an Australian dollar? dollar that's, anyway. that's, that's oh, yeah, Australian that, that's, money. That's Australian. Yeah. What is an Australian yeah, dollar with conversion? What's that in real what, money? thousand. I'm gonna look AD it up. I'm looking is, it up right now. Okay, thank you. Buddy. Is seven hundred and sixty-two yes. US dollars for a thousand Australian? Okay, so uh, it's, it's still pretty fucking expensive then per week. Yeah. That's insane. Perth. But that, you said that was that was in Perth, right? Yeah. Okay. So I like guess when the alternative, city, though, right? I guess one, when the one. alternative is a desert full of death, you <laughs> might be willing to pay it. <laughs> one yeah. Australian dollar is about seventy-five cents. Yeah. Yeah. Better than the yeah, so Philippine that's not peso. Pay that much. <laughs> we do also get paid more than you guys, though. So there's that. Yeah. Well, do they pay Brag about week? it? Yeah. Uh, it's it's uh, you get to choose pretty much. For most places, it's either monthly, fortnightly, or every week. Yeah, oh, shit, fortnightly is a traditional thing in America. Week. Like, I used to get paid every two weeks instead of working for commission. Is yeah. it still called the dollar there, though? Yeah. That's false no, it's advertising. Called a dollar. That's some bullshit. A dollar. <laughs> well, no, it's called it's... a dollar. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, prefer I'm preferential to the dollary do. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me that's real. Uh, I hope no, the one, be... I can't, the one I can't believe is Canadians call their currency the loony. Do they really? I've nope. never heard that before. That's believable. I talk to it's Canadian Canada every day. What? I've also yeah. I don't. I don't. Is that like slang or do they really call it that? It's the loony. Yeah. Like the government. What? That's what the government. The currency calls is it. a dollar. The currency is a dollar. But apparently Phoenix is loony. <laughs> is that like their version of like buck? I don't. Even I don't know. know. Twenty bucks. Canadian $20. loony. A loony. Oh, buck. Okay. Then again, a Canadian you... one. A Canadian one dollar coin, commonly called a loony. Wow. Oh, okay, so it's a denomination. Yeah, but it's like it's a dollar, American dollar is a buck, a single pound is a quid, and I guess a Canadian dollar is a loony, which makes sense. A, do a, dollar, a dollar coin is called a loony, I guess. Wait, they have dollar coins there? So a dollar's not paper yeah. there? We have dollar coins yeah, here coin. in America? Yeah, but nobody uses we do, them. But you see them like once every fucking year. Yeah. Nah, you need them to operate like fucking soda machines. So yeah, you get you know, like like, like, dollars. What? You're not bullshit. You like, that's them. actually a thing? I didn't even know that was a thing that you guys what? have. Oh yeah, dollar coin. Dollar dollar coin. coin yeah. We, we don't, don't use that dollar coins. We have uh, we have fifty cents. Okay, they're I didn't even think you guys were quite there. I didn't we think have two you dollar it bills out. too. Okay, guys. So I was gonna say two dollar bills too, but you don't like they're not in okay. circulation. Okay, okay, okay. They're not well, yeah, they produced are. anymore. They don't make them anymore, but they have. Them. Weird that, question, guys. Yeah, um, vending machines. How do they? How? What's your experience in like getting change from vending machines? Because I am used to being able to putting in a twenty dollar bill and then even getting five dollar bills out. Like that's happened to me before. No. Why would you use twenty dollars bills for no. a dollar soda though? Wait, that what? doesn't happen here. No, 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 no. I've, I've, I've experienced this, and it fell apart for me when one day I went to New York State, put a, put a twenty dollar bill in a vending machine, and got my soda can and eighteen one dollar coins out no. of it. That's how I know no. just how legal tender they are. Why? Why? Why, why did that just happen? To get rid of them all. Why did that happen? I don't know. Austin, your fucking state. Explain it to me. <laughs> In New York? Yeah. I've never been to a vending machine and tried to put a $20 bill in. I assumed that it didn't work. I assumed that 5 was the max there. That's Not, pretty well, fucking crazy. You, doesn't, it, doesn't it tell you on the side of the fucking vending machine? Yeah, and like, it says, yeah, I took $20 it. bills. Fucking shove them in me. And I did. And they got 18 huh. $1 coins out. They were all gold. Is that what vending machines tell you? And they I accept 20s. Please well, shove them in me. Listen, man, I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> Poetic license. Shut what kind of vending up. machine? What kind of well, Japanese vending machines are you running? Apparently. <laughs> 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 New York, New Yorker Japanese vending machines. I don't fucking shove know. it in he, me. He was in, uh, he was in Chinatown. Ah, but no, Chinatown I, doesn't sell. Doesn't. Why is he angry about this? What the <laughs> fuck? I don't know. <laughs> no, but, but I guess because there's no place to give back, uh, uh, you know, paper money, so they have to put it through the coin slot. I mean, that makes sense. Well, right? that does make sense because how would they get the paper money back out? Exactly. Yeah. But then, what how if would they, they run out of coins? But then, how do they yeah. What, change? Here's the thing. What uh, would happen when they run out of all those ones? Well, they give you, I guess, just 
I guess they go just down pennies. the, down it's the just ladder. Just pennies change? in your yeah. face. You just get holes like I, by I would imagine after like a couple customers shoving twenty dollar bills inside of them. <laughs> Well, I think that's as, why as Jim of them eloquently don't put it, twenty dollar bills. They would yeah. run out of money to give back to them. But would they run out of money first or soda first? And well, money you replace the soda. <laughs> I'm sure. You I'm sure the that money. like it would just spit your twenty dollar back out if it realized it didn't have any change. It would probably just spit the twenty back out and say like use five or, or no change or something. That's like that. logical, but I prefer my idea money. of being hosed down by a penny bukkake because. <laughs> <laughs> And, and, and then the vending worth of pennies. And then the vending machine would be like, "Don't shove it in me." <laughs> <laughs> no means no. Oh God. You know, like one thing, one thing I would it's not want big. to be sentient is a vending machine. I would not want there to be smart AI powered vending machines. Like that's the Fuck. one thing Why? I really don't. Can want. you imagine it telling you off for buying shitty food? It's like, oh, don't <laughs> buy the fucking Mars bike. Get the fucking apple, you fat fuck. And you're like, oh, don't no, shove, no. don't shove it in me. It's too big. <laughs> Your money's too big. Jesus Christ. At that point, at that point, you know, humanity has just gone too far. Once the vending machines start <laughs> flirting with us, it's just... At that point, Skynet has taken over. Like, we're all dead. <laughs> at that point, Skynet is our... I, I can't even... No. I don't want to think It about depends that. on how the vending machine is shaped. Phoenix, stop. Why? Phoenix... Austin, didn't you say you had some topic of conversation that might be better than this fuckery that's going if, on right now? If no, vending, I just said okay, that I could talk. here's a serious question. Serious okay, question. Go on. Serious question. Okay, serious question. If a vending machine <laughs> was shaped like a human being, where would it dispense the product? It's dick. Or it's right. ass. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I would like to think it would it would have a really small mouth and it would dispense only really large items out of it. <laughs> it like vomited out. Yeah, like a Pez machine or a Pez machine, a Pez dispenser, and it would make eye contact Apparently while it was machines. doing it. Oh, Pez dispenser! You mean yeah, like the entire head flips off and then shit just comes out of it? Yeah, like those little bobble-headed Canadians from South Park. You know, like the top part just comes off, and then uh, <laughs> <laughs> whatever you buy like comes in. Fill. Yeah, but at that point, like the more intelligent a vending machine gets, the more you're interacting with another person, and one of the greatest things about vending machines is it lets you buy shit without interacting with a person like they're great for social anxiety just you know i don't want to fucking talk to somebody just give me food like i will but you can only buy so many the... things from a vending machine yeah well like, i mean it, i feel that like that's be like a full restaurant because it can't it's not gonna like cook the food yes for you can you and, like, yes it can brady, be that's a challenge. that is brady that is a challenge <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, you already have, you know, kiosks at fucking, you know, McDonald's. You go and press buttons, and the only interaction with the person you have is they hand you the food. Bra Brady, how Why many airports? Fucking Brady, how many airports have you been to? I've been to SFO. Uh, well, pretty much all of them in California. I don't care. The point is, there are some airports <laughs> that have a <laughs> right. Best Buy vending machine that you can buy headphones, yes. iPhones from. Well, I've seen freaking, those. Yeah. You can Dude. buy hard drives from it. I don't know why the fuck they're there. Dude, you know, you know it's even better than that is the things they have at like bowling alleys and shit that's like impossible to win, but it's like a like a little game where you can win like a fucking like Xbox or a Rolex or oh something. Oh my god, those are You're cash talking cash. about like like the tower okay. thing, the, the red yeah, where you like... stack the blocks and Dude, like everybody I, loses. I used to be fucking great at that. Dude, and by well, great, I mean rigged, I right? kept losing at the very last one and I gave them about $150 still yeah, didn't get they're anything. Rigged. They're probably they're rigged, rigged they that rigged. way. And Phoenix, in All case you're wondering, shitty MP3. those vending machines are in airports so people who can't speak English can still get what they need to survive. Well, no, I think it's like, why the fuck do you need hard drives? And like, I said, yeah, what you need to survive, you know? Austin. You expect some person to travel to another country without access to their pornos? No, they need the fucking yeah, solid straight hard drive for that. Well, no, it's a brand new hard drive. It's not like it's preloaded. What the fuck? Are oh, you're right. Damn it. That, that, that is shit in the I middle wouldn't. of LAX. Why do you think they're going to another country to get better porno for their tastes? You know, that's a fair, <laughs> fair point. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> Wait, what? That got That dark. doesn't make any fucking sense. Better the internet exists fucking everywhere. If you buy a plane ticket, you can buy a fucking, I don't know. Old people don't know how to use the internet. They know how to use planes. Dude, so that's what? Wow, what? I have a story about that. I have a story about that. Okay, Brady, go. Go. So at my old job, which I stopped working at like two weeks ago, was uh, the gym that I worked at. There's this uh, old lady that worked there. And uh, she'd be, the gym, the building has been there since I think the 60s or 70s. I think the, 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 the mid or late 70s. And it's been three different gyms. But uh, the building's been the same building the whole time, and this lady's worked there since the building was built, and she's like 80 years old. And the, uh, <laughs> this the is going to be precious. technology. This is going to be good. Constantly changing, and most of the people that worked at the gym were, you know, college students my age, and uh, she was just the only one that was really old, and she never could get 
anything and I felt so bad for her but like I would always be trying to go home because I worked at freaking four in the morning to noon and so I was all tired at noon when she came in and I was trying to go home and I'd see her struggling with the computer she'd be like oh honey you need to help me before you go and I'd be there another like a half hour trying Damn. to help her like print out a fucking sheet of paper and I'd just be like fuck like you're so nice but I just want to fucking like, go home but being a good <laughs> person you of course helped her every else. single time until of course mm-hmm. but, but at like, what point do you I would fire tell her the old lady because she can't do her job but I would tell her the same thing. That's what I said, dude. I told my manager. I'm like, dude, she's like 80. You need to fucking send her home. And she's like, no, she's been here too long. She's got tenure. I'm like, dude, that's not tenure. That's called you need to retire. <laughs> that's called 80 year. <laughs> yeah. That's not tenure. That's 80 year at this point. <laughs> 80 year. He means upon. He used the joke Cause, 10 cause and 10, 80. Yeah. <laughs> but because it's 10 times 8. Listen, Phoenix is just, he, Phoenix is being a piece of shit right now. Just ignore him. <laughs> No, Phoenix isn't being a piece of shit. That's true. If you're 80 years old, you need to retire. Well, I mean, it, I had a similar thing at my fucking college where there's just an old lady who, like, I would, uh, she'd, like, work on, like, admissions or whatever. And, mm-hmm. like, you can always see her computer screen because, like, it faces the front. Yeah. And, like, she has her resolution to where, like, her icons <laughs> on the bottom, like, taskbar. You can fit four of them before <laughs> the, the entire fucking so, thing. And, like, she's, like... If you ever are on a computer and you have to side scroll on like Yahoo or some shit, like mm-hmm. that's a problem, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. like if you can't fit an entire like normal size YouTube player in your monitor, that's a fucking problem. Zoom out. You're so I, zoomed like, in. I, 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 I have a story. I have a story. Uh, once again about old people. So you know how <laughs> Facebook on the phone now has right next to the button for like adding status stuff. It has like a go live function yeah. oh yeah, yeah, right. yeah i hate that uh, so like 90 percent of those are people just like no okay let, let me finish okay. it's i i have my grandfather on facebook okay. and the other day oh, he no. posts a video he went live and it's just him like looking at his phone it's only like five seconds but it's him staring at his phone and then goes oh that was the wrong button <laughs> and it's it <laughs> it saved on his profile. <laughs> that's beautiful. And that that's the beautiful. only thing on it now. <laughs> uh, that is wonderful. The advancement of technology has brought some great beauty to this world. And a lot of stupidity, oftentimes in the same case. <clears throat> uh, so no, I don't know that. I deleted my Facebook. It's beautiful. You should all delete your Facebooks. It's terrible. No, I need it to I have Twitter, though. In life. I like no, Twitter more. Don't. Yeah, I like Twitter yeah, I, Absolutely Twitter. It's easier to ignore people. Actually, I don't know. It's either uh, it. Twitter or Instagram for me. Facebook is... I just I don't ever use Facebook for scheduling shit. That's, that's all I use it for. Yeah, it's, but just I, don't, you know? It's, yeah, it's, you not, don't need it's those way past his prime. For I, I, I got a question, guys. Yeah? Uh, What's up? Has Go. anybody seen the Power Rangers movie? No. Nope. Nah. No. No. We, no, no, no. Fuck. Phoenix, please. Please. Please, Phoenix. Nah. Nah. Come nah. on. It's good. It's honestly good. The, why are you screaming about Krispy Kreme on Twitter? Because Krispy Kreme is a, is a world-class uh, uh, donut institution that it I was don't the think worst product. To have their name okay, okay wait, I no, love no, the Phoenix, movie. Phoenix, Phoenix, stop, stop. In class, I love the movie. In class but this morning, a girl came ever. in screaming about Krispy Kreme. Okay, so it was just product placement. Is that it, Phoenix? It was like, imagine like the biggest fucking plot point in the movie is solely reliant on it happening in a Krispy Kreme. <laughs> and they're... You just and, described Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. I'm not complaining about it's fucking literally, White Castle. It's literally Power Rangers go to White Castle, except it's Krispy Kreme. That sounds great. That's a movie. <laughs> that sounds like an awesome Who movie. What are you fuck? bitching about? So, uh, anyone want to get some... What happened to Ernie's this? juice bar? That's Absolutely. all I'm saying. <laughs> Do they have Krispy Kreme in Texas, Phoenix? The, like, as... No. Yes. Fuck. Or Do maybe. They? Maybe I don't know. <laughs> Stop getting my hopes up, man. I want it's like as donut. common as it's it's as common as a Dunkin' Donuts. I can buy Krispy Kreme branded stuff in Walmart. I don't know where yeah, there's a fucking Krispy cool. Kreme restaurant or <sighs> what they would sell besides donuts. They, yeah, I, I mean, just donuts. Don't, what else would they need it. to sell besides donuts? It's fucking Krispy Kreme. Here we have like here we have like mom and pop like donut shops that open at like 4 a.m. and it's run by some really nice Asian couple. Okay, all of uh, them. <laughs> Yeah, what's all that, of what's that literally all of them. <laughs> the same age. Okay, wait, wait, quick question. Mom and pop. It's the same quick question. Mom and pop. Do your do your do- I I've only ever been in Dunkin' Donuts here, but do you guys have the donut shops where you can see the donuts being made? Yes. Well, that no. that's Krispy no. Kreme to me. Yeah. Well, like they're well, already pre-made. Because like in in the Philippines, we had this chain of donuts called Go Nuts Donuts, and 
they had these they had, <laughs> nice rhyme. They had this rhyme. long yeah. like, the, one of the biggest attractions to me as a kid. Why I love there. Like I fucking I couldn't eat a single donut by myself. Like I'd get heartburn and like collapse halfway through. The things were awful. Cause but, you're a skinny fuck. But, <laughs> yes, but are you an eighty year old man stuck in a ten year old body? Dude, dude. I was a what fucking, little kid. I was a what fucking little kid. Was like, I can't Asian finish kid this donut. Manila. I, I can't can... finish this donut. It's too much. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. Grab some vanilla flavored donuts or glazed donuts there. <laughs> I have manila a Krispy Kreme fuck? story. You're, finish your story, Jim. You're a piece I'm of sorry. shit, Austin. Okay. Um. Yeah. <laughs> no. Back in my youth in Manila, where I, I, I would like one of my favorite things to do was go to the fucking donut shop and just watch the donuts being made because they had this long ass conveyor belt where you could see every single like you know step of the donut being made, so you knew exactly how they were poisoning you with that awful fucking cholesterol. Of course, now it's like a, a gripping mystery to me because I see an American donut, I'm like I'm not as emotionally attached to it because I didn't see I didn't see it from birth to death. Like, I wasn't there to see it be big, to see it be powdered and glazed and oiled. Like, like well, how the fuck am I meant to connect to this donut, you know? So I don't I, I don't really eat. Do you want to see them kill the chicken, pull the feathers out, donut. crush it up and turn it into chicken nuggets? Or do you just want to eat fucking chicken nuggets? I want to meet the chicken. Phoenix, I grew up in the garden. You want to meet the Are chicken? Are you the guy who draws a fucking smiley face on their burger so you can connect with it? Listen, listen. Okay, the kicking of the door thing was a bit far, I will admit. <laughs> but, but that's actually a very bad example you picked, Phoenix, because naming naming and eating a chicken is a, a completely normal thing in the Philippines. Like, it happens all the time. Like, chicken stops producing eggs, whoop, uh, goodbye, Emma, you're dead now. Okay. Mmm, uh, Emma tastes, Emma's tasty. <laughs> what a so wonderful have, sound bite from, sad from Phoenix. I have a little story about Krispy Kreme. So for the longest time, okay. Perth is always the last place to get anything because the East Coast hates us and that's where our government is, uh, down with the East Coast. <laughs> um, but we didn't have Krispy Kreme, Krispy Kreme for the longest time. But what we did have is there was one store that would come and set up for like a week. Whenever they would come, everyone would ab- lose their absolute mind. Like they'd go absolutely crazy. It was ridiculous. Um, when they came here and they finally set up, they had one store and they were sold out of donuts all day, every day, and people would get there at like 4 a.m. to line up for donuts. That's some thirsty for donuts. Right crazy there. for that shit. That's like, that's like the, what's that fucking barbecue place here in Austin that you have to have a waiting line of like two days? Uh, Franklin's? Franklin's, yeah. I don't, I know, yeah. I mean, barbecue donuts, it doesn't add up. Barbecue <laughs> donuts? That sounds great. Oh, man. Austin, you're a madman. Donuts with barbecue, barbecue with donuts. That's the most American shit ever, and it's in <laughs> Australia. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like we don't have donuts, and we have even better donuts than Krispy Kreme. It's just people are fucking crazy. It's listen, yeah. Krispy Kreme has the worst fucking donuts. All right. Yo, what the fuck? No. Fuck shut, you. shut up. Eat, eat shit, Phoenix. Like, Dunkin' Donuts <laughs> is easily worse than Krispy Kreme, so it's like right off the bat, just you know. Yeah. It it, it, it is it is factually incorrect listen, that the worst donuts are in Krispy Kreme because it's not true. Donuts are one of those things where I find that every, like, chain place, like a Dunkin' Donuts or, like, a Krispy Kreme, they're on a different level than, like, you know, just mom-and-pop store donuts. Like, they are absolutely, mom-and-pop stores are, you know, the 100 out of 100, right? And Krispy Kreme and, like, Dunkin' Donuts, like, they're, like, 40 out of 100, right? But they're pretty close. Krispy Kreme and Dunkin' Donuts are, like, the McDonald's of donuts. The thing is, that's that's the thing, though. Like, I will eat a good burger and recognize, oh, I'm in the mood for a really good burger. So if if I'm in a diner I like, I will specifically order the burger I want. But by the time I'm eating donuts, by then, I'm usually so broken and defeated by the day (laughs) that I no longer care about how good it is. Donuts aren't something I eat when I'm, you know feeling like eating anything. There's something I eat when if I don't eat, I'll starve to death and I have no standards left. Then I eat a donut. But I feel like that's why, you know, the quality of the donut is almost immaterial to me. I just you want something fatty in my stomach. That's it. You don't eat a donut at like like 7 o'clock in the morning or something just to wake yourself up? No, you eat an apple to do that. <laughs> Is that really? So no, no, like so I like fruits. Fruits that's and the best bre- sugar. Is- best breakfast is like a glazed, a glazed donut, maybe twisted, I'm not sure, I'm and not like a chocolate twist. milk. That's that's a, that's the breakfast of champions right there. And a chocolate. That- Fun fact: I was, I have this. Sounds like you're with trying to die. Or I keep forgetting <laughs> that I'm lactose intolerant, and I occasionally mess up and I eat something <laughs> with lactose in it. Like this, like this night actually, I was eating dinner and I forgot I was lactose intolerant, and I drank an entire glass of chocolate milk. 
Uh, and I, I just got fucked up by it. And it, to this day, like, because the thing is, like, if I drink enough milk, I eventually become, like, resistant to it. But if I don't drink en- enough milk for, like, you know, too long, I lose my resistance to it. So whenever I drink a glass of chocolate milk, it's like, huh, is this going to kill me? Am I, or am I, or uh, am I going to be completely fine? And today I was not completely fine. Is that how, how it works? I didn't know forget? you could, like, resist that. No, because it's like... Like, build up an immunity like sort of thing? Yeah, I, I build up an immunity, but, like, if I go a week without drinking chocolate milk, I'm fucked up. So it's like, yeah, but I thought, has I thought it been we were... an entire week since I've last drunk milk? And like, you know, it's, 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 an, it's an uncertain thing. <clears throat> yeah, but I thought when you were lactose intolerant, it's because your body doesn't produce like the, the Not chemical to digest it. Necessarily, um, lactose is broken down by we're lactase. Listen, yeah, we're li- <laughs> yeah. It's like you're gonna keep going. <laughs> Time for biology. Biologically Wait, speaking, Jim. your body does not naturally produce. Oh my god, I, I have another story to tell, but. Your, bo- your body never produces lactase. It's the gut bacteria that do it. And the gut bacteria, if you don't... You can build up a tolerance because... Listen, you just feed. drink milk whenever the fuck you want and take a shit later. That's all it... That's, that's pretty much that's what it is. It but it's like, you have to, you have to grow the, your population of gut bacteria in order to properly digest uh, milk. Which so actually like reminds me of a, one of the stupidest moments of my life recently. Had to do directly with I'm lactose. I'm listening. But it's one of those. I'm listening. It's one of those things you had to be at least a little bit smart to be stupid about. Is it, is is it disgusting? I want to hear it. It is kind of disgusting. In fact, it is directly related to the water quality index tests I was talking about with Clayton. Ooh, I, right. I don't know what that those words. Okay, are. I'm gonna I'm the, gonna say the a lot of science. matter in the water bit. I'm gonna I say like a lot of it. science, but the stupid bit is completely understandable even without the science. I want to so, hear the science because I'm a nerd. I had to. I needed a way to confirm the readings I had for fecal coliform units. Fecal coliform basically means bacteria that are present shit. in human feces. In yeah. your shit. Yeah, in your yeah. shit. I was looking for shit bacteria in a, in a sample of water. And I had a number of tests which I was like thinking of doing. And um, I, I had, I I had with me story. a agar. Agar is the thing you grow bacteria in. So basically the way the that test works... That sounds like a Voltron villain. It does. It's like the thing you melt down, right? Yeah, the thing you melt down. Uh, you, you melt, melt it and you pour it. That's what that game is about. So, <laughs> so <laughs> in order to perform the test, I would pour agar out, then I'd put a little bit of water in, and if there was shit bacteria in it, you'd see it everywhere, right? Yeah. But what, sure. I, need, what I needed specifically to do was find a way to grow just the shit bacteria and not normal bacteria. Now, so you were trying to grow shit? No, you see, I wanted to pour I, I wanted to day. pour water into a sample, right? And I wanted only the shit bacteria if it was there to grow. That would confirm the presence of shit bacteria. You were tr- you were trying to grow shit. Yes. Yes. <laughs> does that make you happy? <laughs> but yes. I was it trying does, to grow actually. I was trying to grow the bacteria that appears in shit, all right? But the problem was I didn't think to use agar based on lactose. That is, shit bacteria is unique because it can it can eat lactose, you know? Like, that's a thing. Yeah. But for some reason, I didn't do that because I had completely... I had completely forgotten that only shit bacteria could do it because let's say you're in a stream or something. Like, you picture a normal, ordinary stream, like, in your backyard. Mm-hmm. The only Giant bacteria in that entire... All the bacteria in that entire stream... Of all the bacteria there, the only ones that should eat lactose are the ones that grow in human shit. But I forgot that. I forgot for a moment that the only bacteria that would grow in a lactose area would be shit bacteria. And so I didn't do the test I just mentioned. And later on, when it was explained to me how I was supposed to have done the test, my lab partner phrased it to me the best way possible. Why would bacteria in a stream need to eat milk. Fish don't have tits. What the fuck were you (laughs) thinking? (laughs) Fish don't have tits. That is beautiful. That's the name of this episode. Fish don't have tits. Fish don't have tits. I mean, I don't know. Did you see the little mermaid? (laughs) (laughs) Hey, you know what else doesn't? What, but I mean, like, she was a mermaid. It's not like Guppy or whatever the, whatever the fuck her fish friend was. It's not like he had tits. He didn't have nipples. That you know of. 
But like, yeah, no. The point is, he didn't. He wasn't wearing any clothes. I know. <laughs> but the point is, unless How there's some know? bitch, it could have been close. Unless there's some bitch actively squirting milk into a river, there's no reason bacteria would ever eat lactose. Is the thing. <laughs> and I fucked that up, and I was called out on it. And for a while, I was the lactiferous bacteria guy. I was I was the fish tips guy at my lab. <laughs> <laughs> Not one what, a, what a specific nickname. I'm just gonna start calling fish you fish tits guy. from now on. God damn it. Fish tits. <laughs> that's, that's your new name. That's that's your life now. <laughs> fuck, yeah. fuck me. That's God damn it. Accept it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, but, but them's the exciting times of working in water quality indexing and treatment. Wow. I feel like I didn't fully understand half of what you said, but I liked the punchline. Well, Clayton did, right? I didn't Clayton followed me. I did. I did. I understand. Yeah. Good old biology. <laughs> yep. But, uh, yeah. you know, that was one of those problematic things where I had to be smart in order to be that dumb. <laughs> yeah, no, I understand. That's that, that's my favorite sort of achievement, you know? Like, in order to be this dumb, I had to be at least a little bit smart. What movies have y'all seen? If y'all haven't seen Power Rangers, what movies have you seen? Uh, Recently. Uh, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. <laughs> that's, nope. Uh, nope. Jay and Silent Bob nope. strike back. No, I didn't see. <laughs> Nothing. Um, I didn't see anything. Yeah, uh, not uh, John Wick 2 Harold that didn't Kumar, come out in Australia uh, go to Guantanamo Bay what? okay I want to talk about that why didn't it come out in Australia because people fucking hate us I don't yeah, know to be fair, like, what, what half the video John games Wick that come out in America don't come is, out in is Australia is it because he points a gun at the screen because I hear like people no. in Britain like that freaks them out because no, they think no, the gun no, is no. going to shoot them if it like pointed at the camera no it, was, it wasn't it released was because stupid. of legal reasons it was, just wasn't released because the producers are cunts Ah, what, okay. What why is the producer a cunt? I'm, they just don't want to release it in Australia. I have no idea why. And then they <laughs> whinge about to like. And then they whinge about they just pirating like, it. Send it to them, like email or something. No, that's all they have to do, right? <laughs> Clayton, for a moment, I was tra- like the two line. Yeah. Well, because it's Sorry. not a physical thing they have to mail, is it? <laughs> the entire the whole don't film. Yeah. Don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Right, like, aren't like aren't like video like games like really seconds. hard to get in Australia too? Like a. Uh, uh, they are and they aren't like we we for a long long time up until last year we, w- we weren't allowed r-rated games in australia wow um, that's dumb like Wait, i can R-rated. give an example everyone will know in left 4 dead 2 there is uh there's bodies that lay on the ground our bodies just disappear Ooh. they just if you kill them their bodies just disappear what do you mean by r-rated like uh oh, the rating system what's, for games yeah uh what's you you've got r rating for like, you guys it's the same as movies for you guys M? right yeah yeah, we have it for movies, but then okay. there's M that's 17 plus? Yeah, 17. But R is 18 plus? Or are they both the same? Uh, so ours goes G for sure. general, PG for like young kids, M Fretful for guidance. mature, MA for mature restricted, so you have to be older than 15, and R for restricted above 18. Oh, wow, what okay. What is Grand Theft Auto V? Uh, I believe that is R, but we're allowed that now because that... Actually, no, hang on. Let, let, I'm gonna have to do some googling. Get back to me. All right, all right. Um, what well, just, just, just I'm, I'm trying to just gauge where the like, like where it equates it's, to the American system. It's kind of fucked up because we, uh, some things we're like, yeah, that's fine. You're allowed to do that. Uh, other things not. Yeah. So GTA Five is R, uh, and I lied it about R. it being last year. I just forget how much time has passed. <laughs> it was how a while ago, but we're, yeah, it's R. Yeah, I know because See, the, I, I know Grace plays GTA, so it'd be kind of strange if it was only banned like last year. But yeah, whatever. Yeah. Uh, time, I just, I the biggest thing I works. oh the biggest oh. thing I heard about that was the South Park game. Forgetting Didn't they have to time cut works. the whole oh, abortion scene. Familiar. What? <laughs> no, I, I was just what reminiscing at how forgetting about time works. So, like you always think you have more time <laughs> than you do, and it turns out you have no time at all. And you know, people don't ever warn you that you're running out of time. Oh, just, what are you being passive aggressive towards me right now, Jim? No, I'm not being passive aggressive to you, you fucking ass pup, But I'm being active aggressive now, okay? Ass pup. <laughs> Is it active? I love that ass puppet. Shut the right. fuck ass up, puppet. cunt maggot. Oh By my the way, God. listen, if you, if I'm the one fucking you, you're the puppet. Exactly, I my, know. I'm up your ass. I know, no. I feel raw and awful. Oh, shit. I'm not a puppet, you're a puppet. What? You're the puppet. You're the puppet. <laughs> Shout out to uh, the second presidential debate of 2016. Yeah. Uh, wow, let's not talk about that. Let's let's really not talk about that. No, real timely. Let's talk about Australian politics because that's not at all obscure. Let's do. Uh, let's do no, it. No, I was reading what, about your what's thing. going on in Australia. How all about Mark McGowan? Oh my gosh, what a what a card. 
No, no, no. Look, he is such a card. He's the ace of spades or the second of clubs. Okay. <laughs> I know. I know. Second you, of you, clubs. You, you, your pre, you, <laughs> your, your, wait, your leader is just a card? Wow, ours is a, ours is a Cheeto. So. <laughs> uh, we've got What this, a coincidence. We've got this woman who me and my mates call uh, female Trump, and I totally forget her name right now, but she's Marine pretty. Marine Le Pen? Uh, she's, no. Uh, Pauline is she Han a burrito? She's fucking crazy. Oh, my goodness. Pauline Hansen is just like Trump female in Australia. It's ridiculous. Is she yeah. is she as orange as he is? Uh, no, actually, I don't even know what she looks like. I just hear her voice on the radio all the time. <laughs> oh no, absolutely, she's got I the craziest red hair. Yeah. Trump in a different wait, wig. Clayton, Clayton, what's her name? What's her name? Hang on, I'll put I'll put it in the in the chat. You ready? Uh, yeah, it'll, it'll oh, go the link dump. Austin, do you right, have a link I'll dump? I'll put it. I'll yeah, put yeah, it. In, oh, yeah. I'm just wish. Uh, okay, I thought, you were, gonna I thought you were gonna post a picture, but you know, okay, whatever. Just like fuck me. I'll then. I'll get a picture. All right, thank you, Austin. I'll You're a good person. I like you. you. I like hey, you. I like you that. Fuck. You fucking fight off. Oh my god, she is tro She looks evil, and her hair looks the post same. Post pics or it didn't happen, Austin. You piece there of shit. Oh my, oh my god. god. <laughs> fucking gem. You can't copy and paste. Are you? Oh my god. You <laughs> wow, god. that is that is a caricature. Holy she looks like Cap. She. She looks, she like, looks like Captain Janeway from the USS Voyager if she was on crack. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is she running for something? That's the other Australian she... Clayton. Grace just commented, Clayton, why? You've oh triggered God. them. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, sorry. So now you all know about Pauline Hanson. Uh, oh my yeah. God. Was that like the. I don't even know her policies. No. Yeah. Who? I just know she looks like an evil Jane. Listen, listen no, don't, she's just don't some judge, politician who don't isn't very judge a book by its cover. Let's see what Pauline Hansen actually has to say. <laughs> the other Australian no. guy is not going to have nightmares. No, no, no. I'm just going to say evil Janeway. That's, uh, yeah. As opposed to good Janeway, which doesn't exist. Barnaby Ooh. Joyce describes Ooh. Pauline Hansen's comments as bad him. poop. <laughs> what the fuck? Pauline Hansen says Islam is a is a disease that Australia needs to vaccinate. Ooh, yeah. Why the is fuck are we talking about Is this lady in power? No, no, no. Or God, is she no. running for power? God, no. She was okay, running and God. she didn't get in. The deputy prime minister. Because she's fucking evil. Wow, you guys are one step ahead of us in the U.S. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh my God. Listen, yeah. Trump Change hasn't the called Islam a disease yet, has he? Nah, he he actually hasn't. You know what? He has not called Islam a disease. He simply says Muslims should not be allowed in the country. You know, yeah. mild. No, mm, mm, mm. no, change, change, change. Can't stuff. they? Can't they just lie about that though? Yeah, let's just change the topic. Yeah, no, they can. They yeah. can't be. That's the point. Well, well. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. They, <laughs> just well, they can, but that's why he banned the countries. You know, countries. I don't. I don't okay. No, let, let, let's talk about something less contentious. Puppies. For instance, yeah. puppies. Fuck kittens. your puppies, Phoenix. Why no, 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 little no. Um, puppy mouths? Here's a topic which was why in do you want, last... Here's a change of subject. Why the, Why do you want to fuck puppies, Austin? <laughs> yeah, Austin. Why do you want... I don't know, because they're cute. Why Why was that the first thing that came up, Austin? <laughs> the first thing that came up? That I wanted a dog to fele feliciate... Why was your Felicia dick the first day thing that wife? came up when <laughs> I talked about puppies? <laughs> you wanted a dog to Felicia Day or what? <laughs> I can't speak today, man. That was the best <laughs> fucking flub I've ever heard. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is happening with Felicia? What is Felicia Day doing now? Felici Felicia? No, Felicia? You can't even it's Felicia. Felicia, there we go. Piece of shit. <laughs> Dude, I'm good at grammar. Stop. <laughs> no, no. Really, the thing I wanted to talk about is... I want a dog to suck my dick. Is what I'm oh, my God. Changing well, topic again. Technically, they would lick it and Shut eat up, peanut Phoenix. butter. Change the topic again. I need peanut butter? Oh, dude, that's the trick. Shit, okay, man. guys. Here's a topic once more. more. Here, there's a topic which we covered in the podcast that shall not be named. And I want to cover again here because still timely, still topical. What the fuck is going to happen to us? Like, what is gonna, what's the deal with the Let's Play community? Are we, like, going to die now? I about? thought you meant, like, in an existential way. Like, when we die, <laughs> like, what's going to happen? Hey, you ever <laughs> wonder why here, we're here? Is, here is my assumption. And this is me being totally serious. Okay. Uh, the end of March. Well, hey, 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 do, do you want to lay it okay, out first? Okay, context. So even though what the fuck. We're okay, yeah. About. Lay uh, out for the new guy. Lay you guys set it up, and I'll I'll give my assumption. Okay, uh, lay it out for the new guy then. Wait, me? Should I lay it? Yes, out? Yes, lay it out. Jim. Or Clayton. Yeah. Okay. Somebody. Okay. No. All right. So Austin, we'll take turns. Uh, uh, you'll say me. something, and I'll interrupt you and correct you, and go ahead. Okay. Let's play community channel. The uh, uh, Trevor used to run it. Uh, I say what? Or James took it over? Uh, I don't know. Six months ago or so. 
Um, and I'm I say, what, you just got a new job. Out, uh, uh, where the fuck, what, 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 yeah, what's Jam- the James studio? was, uh, Team 17, I think. James? Team 17, who did, uh, uh, Worms and all, Overcooked. All, all, and Overcooked yeah. and a bunch of cool stuff. He's working over there with them now. Yeah. Um, and so he kind of left the Let's Play community, and right now and we're ja- kind of James was a, James was a great, uh, community manager, and now we're kind of community manager-less. Uh, but James set things up so that the next few weeks will go off without yes, a hitch. Yes, which means Robot uh, James has taken over for, like, the next <laughs> few weeks or so. Here is my totally serious assumption. Mm-hmm. This isn't me joking around. The end of May, the end of March, uh, is leading into the next uh, quarter. In this case, the yeah. second quarter of the year. Okay. Which means that's when everything uh, <clears throat> is rearranged. Uh, things are planned out for the next quarter of the year. I think they for are the waiting. The company, yes. Uh, I think they're waiting for out. that quarter to start before they make any decisions about what's going on because as i said james has everything set and automated for the next several weeks see here's the sad thing though that means people like currently right now you know let's play community still gonna be updating but any new submissions won't be coming out until we get the new person which means people like essentially over here just got fucked by this well, I mean, it already would have been pushed back because yeah. the, because of where the queue yeah. is, right? Right yeah. now, we're we're just running off. You know, it, it's like he always kept that tank full, and now we're starting to you know run out of gas. May I suggest that it's not so much that they're gonna. Th- it's possible that they're not thinking of starting or figuring things out at the start of the next quarter, but they have got someone who's going to start at the start of the quarter in a more official manner. Possibly. Well, it's yeah, possible. Possibly. They could have but everything we don't know. figured out. Well, the thing is. Yeah. Like, we just don't know anything about it. Yeah, the point is, we don't know, and right now, we're kind of in limbo as far as uh, leadership. Like, we've got Trevor still, but also, keep in mind, Trevor is the... He's running the company pro- now, right? Yeah, he's pretty much running Achievement Hunter as supervising producer, so we're so kind of the last thing he's worrying about at this well, point. So he's doing G- now what Lindsay and Jeff used to do, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. So pretty much. Jeff left, and then Lindsay... Is on maternity yeah. leave, right? Yeah. Well, not maternity leave. No, she's not. She's not. Well, she, she's, she's moved over to a pure talent position. Oh, okay. So okay. she's not doing any of the management stuff. Mostly she's not doing any of the pregnancy. editing stuff. Yeah, but, yeah. She's now pure talent. Uh, most. She's always been pure partly, talent. Phoenix, please. Part, part, oh, yeah, she is. Isn't that sweet? She absolutely is. She's, but I'd imagine it's partly because of the baby. But the I think born. it's also mostly. I, I think it may just be like, that's where she. She that's what she enjoys doing. So yeah, yeah. you know yeah. that makes sense. Pause for reflection. Lindsay is probably actually the most prolific voice actress in Rooster Teeth, which kind of makes sense, I guess. But uh, you know, it's, it's always been kind of strange thinking that she's been running AH this entire time. But whatever. I don't think that's I don't think that's hard to imagine. No, at all. I mean, I, think I was, she's the one. I accepted I it. I think, I think she's the one. The sh- and Bernie I think pointed she's out the one that she the works on every together. project. Yes, she does. Yeah, and every, every, every single one. Hey, she's well, the one that has good, her, most of her shit together. You know, well, for a while she worked on everything, but has she at this point? I'm yet? probably not, but come on, man. Like, has she been in, like, Sex Wing? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, no, I'll stop talking about Sex Wing. <laughs> I'm suddenly can, actually, yeah, can we talk about Sex Wing? I don't Wing? like the show. Because what happened there? I haven't watched the first <laughs> okay, episode yet. Okay, I'll, I'll say this much. Fun House, hilarious people, great improv comedy. Script writing, not so much. Like, their episodes of season 14 were not the strongest, in my opinion. Of, like, RBB season 14. Remember Orange is the New Black? I thought there were some good moments, but they're kind of disjointed just the way, like, James and Adam write, I guess. I felt like Sex Swing it's, was... It, it's, it's not their strong suit. It's not what they should no, be No, it is not. It's all. absolutely not. That being said, for improv comedy and shit like that, they're amazing. Like, I, I watch Funhouse content probably more than... I watch more Funhouse videos than AH ones right now because I don't have the time to do full Let's Plays anymore. Like, you know, it's a large time commitment, but Funhouse is in those nice little bite-sized pieces. So that's what I watch mostly. And I have to say, you know, funny guys, truly funny, salt of the earth, love them to death. Sex Wing is a piece of shit. <laughs> to be fair, what sort of numbers is it getting? Is it getting views? I hope well, not. they promote it. Like, well, if it's, getting, if it's getting views, then that doesn't matter because people are liking it and it's going to make them money. Yeah, I guess. Eh, does it? I don't know. I I mean, it's it's bad. no it's no camp camp like camp camp, oh, camp, is, camp is, is good. It's I think it's trying to be the next X Ray and Vav because it's that kind of humor except for Funhouse stuff. X Ray and Vav was bad too. 
Well, no, that was that was, was. I actually uh, liked that. I thought it was. No, pretty season good. two was. Good. I think season we liked good. it. Be, I think I think we liked it because we were fans of it. Like it was pretty yeah. shitty. Season two was good though. Oh yeah, uh, right. The whole shitty. Mad King thing, breaking apart X Men Rav. That was a good episode. But that was like why, uh, that was like one episode in a piece three. of sh- no, it was a shit fest. Things like X Ray and Vav and Sex Swing are pretty much for people that are already fans of Funhouse yeah. or uh, Ray and Gavin yeah. and all that. As stuff. opposed to Camp Camp, they... which was a bold new step that happened to work out. Why did they not make a? I really, I really that? liked Camp Camp. I, I, Camp Camp was, Camp was like, great in my opinion, uh, especially the last episode. Oh like, my shit. god. Like, it, it got real for a minute. I, I was reminded why Miles Luna successfully piloted Red vs. Blue through so much great shit. Because the guy the guy can write. The guy can write very easily. Like, okay, can, we, can, we, can we stop sucking their dicks now? Can we like go back to throwing cheap, cheap, <laughs> cheap insults I was going around? to say, because I've been trying to stay silent this entire time. Because I know the people who work on all the shows that you people are <laughs> Look at me. Austin, and and I'm you're so all just like, this one's a piece of shit. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I know a guy who's like really excited about it, them. Austin, that's that's the best course of action, in all honesty. So. Yeah, the, yeah, actually, yeah. Austin, you're in sort of this, oh my god. One of the things I, I want to, uh, one of the reasons I want Noah Fast to come out before our RVB season 15 coming out is that way I get to claim that you were made famous by me first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that. That no, no. he already has <laughs> eleven thousand subscribers. The guy is way far away. Yes, but only eighty active. <laughs> so take that. How do we know how many active accounts we? Do? Uh, you don't. I just see that views on average we get about. Not 80, like you, you're, your achievement guides Reddit, get a lot of views, right? Those like those so? like modern warfare spots. Like, you get like thousands of views in those. Yeah, those do, uh, and they do well for about two weeks, and then uh, we get about 50 views a month or so, and of them, 20 of them are comments saying, you guys are, are a piece of shit. Uh, they say guys is in there as well. It, it's Yeah, really I, I, I saw, like, those, like, the when the recent Let's Play went up on uh, Lone Few that, that I was in, and it was, like, it was uploaded, and then I, like... It said uploaded like thirty minutes ago. I opened. I opened it up. I already had two dislikes. I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that was all. Oh, that was me. It, it I'm had sorry. Four within. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it had four within like half an hour. I'm like, "What the fuck happened?" Like, like I was scouting through the through the video. Like, did I, is there like a big ass black space somewhere? I still have no idea what the hell that was on. About. It's because there's no so, comments that are like it's probably a bunch of people that are ass. only there for like the machinima shorts or movie magic or something then they're like a fucking let's that, play fuck this that that could be it that we have a huge problem with that is because like the modern for secret spots that's what gets that's what's getting all of our fucking views lately and that's what got all of our views back in fucking 2011 when we blew mm-hmm. up yeah and so every time that we post anything there is like you know there's 80 you know active people who like this type of content and those are not the same 80 people who like this other type of content well, like that, that's right? a struggle Did for you... any youtuber right they get famous off the one thing and then they have to get their other content at the same views like i'm pretty sure that... screw attack gave up on doing anything besides death battle at this point for instance <laughs> yeah. same thing with but i mean yeah. but but with us specifically because like it's it's like, because we're trying to do them both at the same time, and it doesn't fucking work. I know it doesn't fucking Separate work, channels. but I want to fucking do GTA. I can't just load into goddamn Call of Duty for the 8 billionth time and try doing a fucking strafe jump somewhere. Only for in fucking a week, someone comes back to me and be like, Hey, uh, you fucking suck dick, dude. Uh, you know, th- th- that spot, that's old news, bro. Like, fuck you, asshole. Like, <laughs> y- yes, it gets a fucking, a fuck ton of views, but like, I... I it pisses me off to keep doing that. Sorry, go on. Well, you got you got you got to find your own other things that are be equally as popular, I guess. See, that's hey, the struggle. Have you considered did cam you, whoring? Did you try? Uh, just I have that? actually. I, you I found actually my second did. Channel? I'm not joking. Brady? I totally considered that for a brief what? time. Oh no! I thought, oh, I thought you were about to say you actually did, did okay. it, Brady. I was. Oh my god, Brady's here. <laughs> no, no, no! I, I totally can because that's good money, dude. Absolutely, Brady. Like, where the fuck did you go? I've been here the whole time. Yeah. Okay. I Dude, didn't say don't call him yeah. out, you little piece of shit. Like, what the hell? I'm going to call him out. <laughs> hey, you are? Dude, you're calling him out so fucking hard. I don't, you guys are Dude. just talking about a bunch of shows that I don't watch. So I don't <laughs> what shows do you watch, yeah. baby? Then? Well, talk, talk about something appropriate, then. Lead uh, us for next all time. The, all the Funhouse ones, I don't really watch any of those. Talk about the cam girls that you watch, then. That, that you think that you're going you're gonna to dive into that market. 
Oh, no, no, not anymore. I wouldn't do that now. Or well, no? maybe I would. I don't know. He grew a self-esteem between then and now. <laughs> <laughs> We, we need to, we need really to make him a little for, bit like, before he'll do it. For, like, all the work that you don't have to do, it's really good money. But can <laughs> can dudes do that? Like, oh, oh absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, not he knows. I, not not for audiences of tricks, but yes, they can. Oh, no, no, yeah, but it doesn't, it's not, it doesn't really make a difference. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. Depends yeah, if you like you shit know. up your ass or not. <laughs> God <laughs> well, not damn really, it. Though. What the fuck? What the fuck? Because I know I would do it. I mean, you're not wrong. Well, how how much is it like a big increase in pay? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a big increase how in pain. Big? It's a big increase in, in something. pay and in object size. <laughs> I mean, money's money, man. It's good money too. That's <laughs> true. I mean, I mean, a certain amount of money is money. How I'm much money? Eighty no, fucking Brady, dollars. Brady, I'm not Brady, shoving a dildo Brady, up my ass. Yeah, yeah. Brady, what's, what's up? What's up? How much money would it take for you to shove a dildo up your ass on camera? How big? Let's start. Let's start at a thousand. Brady, no, no, no. no, no. no, no. How... a thousand. We we go. Oh, how we go big? max yeah. from the get go. Brady, million dollars. Okay, That's a lot of money. Million dollars. <laughs> Fuck, I'll do that right now. God damn it, give me my million. Million dollars, but you have to shove a cactus up your asshole. <laughs> Quite oh, literally, funny. million dollars, but uh, <laughs> eat shit. Uh, it's good. It's good right there. No, I would not. You would not. You could die from that. Well, because I could kill from... you, dude. Okay, no. Okay, what if we take it a comparatively smooth cactus? Like, not one of the ones with, like, the spines, <laughs> but, like, the ones with just, like, the like the little nubs on the side. You know, clearly uncomfortable, but like, it won't kill you. Oh, yeah, I'd do that. Okay, for a million dollars, you just have a cactus up, uh, up, up your asshole. Uh, totally. All right, 500,000. <laughs> yeah. Phoenix yes, is working do it down it. to what he can afford. <laughs> $12 50,000. Yes. $50,000. Phoenix is calculating. Yes. If I sell my apartment and all of my... Games and my car. Can I get Brady to shove a cactus? Dude, I can't up his even asshole? afford rent. I can't. I I can't even afford rent. What makes you think I can afford Brady shoving a cactus up his ass? Right? He can't even afford the cactus. <laughs> we'll keep going. Keep going lower. Then. You can't afford the cactus. Do you know how much a cactus is? They're not cheap. Yeah. Okay. Especially a smooth one that doesn't kill you. What if, yeah. What if you What if you get What if you like get like uh, What's it called? Like one of those um fake cactuses. What about a cucumber that just looks like a smooth cactus? Is that okay? Oh yeah, yeah dude, that's per- for I'm, my, yeah yeah. I'd that, do that I'd do for fifty grand. Fifty grand for to shove five, a cucumber my asshole, guaranteed. No. Five, five grand. Five, five grand. grand. Oh, I'd pay 50 oh grand. five grand. No, dude, no, I'd do I that for something. like a hundred. And record 100? it. dollars. And record okay. it, Brady. Don't forget. I I a hundred dollars. Okay. Or a hundred thousand. Either. Wait, Austin. Either. You said. Wait, wait, Brady. Do you say a hundred or hundred thousand? A hundred. A hundred dollars for Brady to shove. Uh, a cucumber up his ass on camera. Austin, Clayton, Phoenix, I think we can all afford 25 bucks. We well, can no, no, because you, you have to remember, you have to remember, it's like a big audience of people that are watching. Watching you yes. shove a cucumber up your asshole? Damn right, it'll be a big audience, because <laughs> yeah. I'm posting it everywhere, you piece of shit. Wait, Brady, so, so just... A hundred dollars. Here, here's... I, I just want to clarify. This... We're not, say, like, degrading anybody that likes having cucumbers up there. No, ears. we're degrading yeah. Brady, right. like, specifically. Because there are people that genuinely enjoy that, and that's okay. I'm sure they I'm do. I'm saying because I know this will make Brady uncomfortable. It absolutely would. <laughs> <laughs> Brady. Uh, Seriously, a hundred dollars? A hundred dollars, dude, yeah. Fucking win is RTX. <laughs> 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 you, you just committed an error, Brady, but yes. <laughs> this is possible. Are you kidding me? Get ten people chipping ten bucks each. Hold on. No, 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 no. I'm, no, 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 I'm, no, no, I'm fucking stupid. Wait, wait, wait. Austin, no, no. talk to some Austin, people. this is being recorded, right? We have him on record saying it's a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah, per person. What the fuck is this? What, what the fuck what is this? Per you are adding per shit. No, no, you God, said a hundred bucks. Hold on. Nah, people no, aren't going up there. If I'm going to get a deal, I want a proper contract for my, my cucumber up ass contract right here. We need to shake hands before the <laughs> All right, Brady. A hundred dollars. Show the cucumber up your asshole on camera. Dude, a hundred dollars. No, that's like eight hours of work. Right. Yes. So okay. if you got a hundred dollars in two seconds, that's like a. It's like eight hours that you say. Yes, but we're also recording it and showing yeah. it to RTX, Brady. Would you do it? Well, no, because they wouldn't let you. So I. I okay, fine. Have then we'll just have the file and by some weird incident. This is all theoret. This is all theoretical, Brady. No, it's yeah. not. <laughs> 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 also, what, what do you mean they wouldn't let you? Who wouldn't let you? 
the people running like the event, they wouldn't let you like well, show that. Uh, it's gonna be in a back alley. Trust me. We'll <laughs> oh, a hotel in. room. We'll get just it'll, it'll, yeah, we'll be in a hotel room. room. We'll it'll put down great. tarps. Okay, but Brady, Brady, <laughs> can you yeah. confirm you would shove this, a cucumber okay. up your asshole for a hundred dollars if we paid you hundred Let's, bucks? Listen, Brady, this wouldn't be shown at RTX. It wouldn't be shown at a real convention. It would be shown at SGC. <laughs> <laughs> Show it to the homeless guys out in the, the back alley. I'm, yep. I'm sorry to the screw attack guys. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually... I, I went to that last year. It was pretty fun. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Their uh, it was, drunk it was, Mario part was really... Yeah. Or Mar- Mar- Mario part? Yep, that's exactly what I said. Mario part. Stick with it. $100. Mar- I can't Mar- believe it. $100 Mar- 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 cucumber. Mar- Mar- Oh yeah, hundred dollar cucumber. cucumber. I'll I'll buy the cucumber. You buy the cucumber. You know, okay, but like, should we, should we put up a collection plate Whole in foods. the Let's Play community channel? Then yeah. like get as long as it's from Whole Foods. Yes, of course. Uh, uh, ethically sourced cucumber. <laughs> I need the best. Top of the line. Only the best for Brady's asshole. Yeah, a hundred dollars, <laughs> Brady. Really? What would happen? What would happen if the 2017 in slate for the Let's Play community was just <laughs> Brady spreading his ass cheeks, goatsy style? <laughs> when? Hang on a second. <laughs> Well, of all of all the people that could do that, like who? Go who, on. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, who would who would you guys prefer? What do you mean prefer? Probably David. <laughs> really? Why? Why? What? Yeah. Well, what? <laughs> where'd you get that? What? What's, I don't what's know. Wrong with Dave. <laughs> I don't know. He just seems like the least offensive. <laughs> the least offensive. Yeah. So what? You want to taint him? <laughs> but, yeah, but Dave wouldn't do that. Here, shove this up your ass. What? No, for like the outro, like somebody goat seeing the the outro. Who would I prefer? Pro- probably David. Pauline Hanson. Yeah. Okay. He can be. He can represent the channel. <laughs> no, but no. Seriously, are, 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 are we just letting this cucumber thing go? Well, I'm I'm just saying, like for the for the outro thing, who is like the worst person for that? Like you wouldn't want to oh, see like Brandon. Left to cry. Like, absolutely. That's yeah. What I'm a cucumber can I? Of Brady's ass. Can I ask a quick question? Do you, does it have to be U.S. dollars or can it be like Australian dollars? No, you're still dollars are worth nothing. They're like 75 I think cents. It has to be U.S. dollars. Shit. We're worth more. All right. So, guys, I set a reminder for 9 a.m. July 7th uh, to <laughs> shove a cucumber up Brady's ass. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, does somebody want to start a collection in the general chat just to, you know, see who'll be willing to put in 10 bucks? No? No. no. Yeah, make it make go no. funny. Dude, no, no. How about this? Make it make go fund me, and that'll turn into like. A thousand dollars by the oh, time. Oh, stretch! You could get stretch goals. Yeah, well, because those literally. things always stretch like, goals are literally stretch goals. It just becomes a bigger cucumber <laughs> with each goal. Yeah. <laughs> Stre- here's our stretch goal: make the cucumber bigger. That's a real yeah. stretch goal. Oh man! And if if you donate fifty dollars or more, you get to uh, take a bite afterwards. Ah! 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 I'm not too far. This is getting fucking disgusting. All right, you're right. Well, change the topic. Change the topic again. Somebody, to somebody say something. Hello. Hold on, those aren't even Clayton. that big to begin with. I'm trying to like picture in my mind, like, what? How big are cucumbers? Yeah, they're pretty you can small. Get right? It's a pretty. It's, I mean, it's kind of like a pretty a fucking fucking big cucumber. It can get big. Is it? I mean, I mean, I've taken a shit the size of a pickle before, but you know. <laughs> I mean, that's average, right? Pickles are small. I mean, some of them are. Yeah, you yeah, haven't so been to our be state fair. Well, you all right, everything's bigger in Texas and all that shit. Yeah, including pickles up your ass. Oh my, can we grow our own cucumber for this? <laughs> we have time, right? I'll start it in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> I have to put some love and care into it. See, see, that way Jem can be connected to it because he's seen it from birth all the way up to <laughs> its death. You're right, I'd be emotionally invested oh. in this cucumber going up Brady's asshole. You, you, you'd On really be invested note. in its arc. <laughs> the story arc. On that note... I think we should. No, no. I think we should wrap. We absolutely up. should, but there's yeah, one last yeah, thing I have to show. This will gonna go. This is gonna go the link dump. What's okay. This? Okay. That. that <laughs> why are you posting it in general, <laughs> Brady? What the fuck. That Brady uh, that is, is the true. cucumber. That's the, the one. The biggest cucumber ever. A guy's holding it over his head. What the fuck? That, that's just a rock. <laughs> Who? The guy with the cucumber. <laughs> cucumber. That's the cucumber. Oh, I have a relevant cucumber video. I'll have to link in the limp dump, link dump. I think you should all watch yeah, once. Well. Wait, wait, Clayton, we don't actually have a link dump. That's completely made up. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> Shit. Dude, I, all right. <laughs> I, feel, I feel really I bad for the out. people that, like, never... Uh, are part of that chat, like the people whose names I don't even recognize in there. They're probably like, what the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> Every time you post in the giant fucking cucumber. Yeah, like I don't even recognize like 80% of the fucking people. That's because you're old as fuck, Brady. I'm really not, though. 
No, but like, really, the turnover in the Let's Play community channel is insane. Like, people are in and Oh, you meant mind. old as in, like, been here a long time. Yeah. Brady, oh, Brady yeah, when did you first funny. find out who I was? Like, when's the first time I communicated with you? How long has Gem existed probably in Probably, like, probably December, I think, right? Yeah, I've been here for six months. <laughs> okay. <laughs> since... Dude, I've been here since, uh, 2014. Oh... September. I've Who's been, been here, here since longer? November Austin, 2015. Wait, what? Really? I've been uh, here since last month. <laughs> nice. Let me see when. Uh, Dude, I think me and Austin uh, have probably been here longer. Okay, than guys. Here, right? Um, sorry. Uh, it just occurred to me that I'm actually having the screaming shits because I had too much milk and I have to go to the bathroom. I actually know that's not me. That's Phoenix. But uh, okay, we have to end this podcast. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we did. Hang on. No, Phoenix. Yeah. Phoenix, Phoenix just told me he Still needed like, to go uh, to the bathroom, so we have to end this. I need, I need to get the. Well, no, no, hold on. Yeah, I really, I really want to. There's, there's a reason I like message. Oh, that I know. And say it on the. I podcast. know. I, what did I you know why you did it, Phoenix? And you know damn well why I ignored you. All right. I, All right. Well, thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure being here. It, 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 it was great you having you on, Clayton. You were, you were a great. So guest. At, since we, since we're talking about like shoving stuff up, like. Brady's ass. Like I'm, I, I need to head out and push something out. Of the <laughs> All right. So, okay. goodbye, Phoenix. <laughs> Stop your recording before you go. Goodbye. We don't want to hear that. Oh, March. Yeah, you'll hear all of it. March. Okay, I've been here since. Shit. I think September or August. I think it was August 2014. So I got about four or five months on you. Yeah. And Kyle about was the same months. way. I don't know where the fuck Riles are. Uh, I think he was probably he's probably been there a month before you. <clears throat> Dave was yeah yeah R- Riles was definitely a little before me. A little just Dave a little was a though. little after me, and I remember specifically there was a point where Jake had started like a, a like ch like Skype chat with like twenty or you know thirty fucking people in it. I remember, and I remember yeah. specifically me and Dave got brought in at the exact same time. So well, like Jake's for some reason like me and him I always like associate together with like when we came in, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, Jake's been around since, like, 2011, right? <sighs> Pretty much, yeah. So, yeah. so Clayton, okay. uh, what about them old times last, uh, yeah. this this past know, right? Monday when we did a Let's Play? I yeah, know. That was... Oh, man, it was crazy. Crazy, yeah. Crazy times. Yeah. Way back when. Yeah, you know. I gotta say, the, the, I've, I've been making videos, like, consistently for the, for a week. I'm probably gonna overtake half of you in a space of a month. I hope. That's my goal, is to make wow. more videos than any of you. <laughs> <laughs> that being I said, though, no joke, you've made, like, how many things to do videos have you made in the past week? Uh, I've made, uh, that I've recorded and edited. And commentary. Just, and commentary. I've got, f- uh, four to submit. I've got one more to film. I filmed another one yesterday, which I've got to finish editing and do a commentary on. And I'm building another one right now. Yeah, that's right. Eat <laughs> shit. Jesus Everybody fuck, else. <laughs> no, Austin, when I, when I told you I wanted Clayton on this podcast because he's a fucking madman, I meant it. Because this guy, is, he's absolutely insane. Like, he's not he's not right in the head. <laughs> <laughs> I finally a, did, a, a good I way, did, I did one thing. that wasn't in Minecraft, finally. Oh, my so God. I did, I did, oh, shit. I did, I, I did one in depth. Ooh. Yeah. You get the, so I need someone to do a commentary on that soon. Uh, so whoever's around. <laughs> Get Brady or Austin to do I'm it. I'm always down. Just all of us right now. Let's right. do it. Right now on the podcast. Open it up. <laughs> oh, that'd be sick, dude. That'd be pretty sick. Actually, actually no, why not? Why not? It would. It, uh, it's yeah, not that being edited. Uh, Record yeah. our audio. Anyway, Um, we'll just pretend we're watching it. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> and oh, then shit. you, like, you like uh, edit yeah. around our audio to make sure, like, so Clayton, uh, what are we watching right now? We'll, <laughs> we'll just give you a bunch of reaction shit, shots, wow, and then you can uh, just cool. take them and, and cut them wherever. So like, <laughs> Whoa! Holy shit! Dude, that's awesome! Dude, that's crazy! And, oh, dude, that sucks. Oh, man. Um, yeah, no, I know exactly how you feel. That is, oh, uh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> the fucking like sharks, man. <laughs> 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 this, this, is, this is just sad. Right, this is the end of the evolved. podcast. I'm ending the podcast, and you guys ending the podcast. No. <laughs> you don't have any authority here. Wait, you don't. You don't. You don't get to do that. Austin, end the podcast. Yeah. Try and stop me. Fuck! I can't.